Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about caring for and cleaning your safety razor. So, you know, getting into wet shaving, we often think we're going to be saving money by making this, you know, upfront initial investment in a safety razor and we get cheap blades from here on out. And for this investment to pay off long term, as long as you don't spend all your money on shaving brushes and creams and soaps, as many of us end up doing, you need to take care of your safety razor. And even if you do end up buying tons of stuff and it ends up not being a good investment, you still need to take care of your safety razor so you get top performance from this at all time. So in this video, I'm going to talk about kind of daily care after every single shave, what I do with my safety razor, then what I do on more of a weekly basis. So I have my Mercor 34C here with a blade in it. And uh, I'm just going to pretend like I just got done shaving with it. So as soon as I get done shaving with my safety razor, the first thing I do is I loosen up the cap. Uh, this is a two-piece razor, so I just unscrew the bottom here. But if you have a three-piece razor, just loosen up the head. And so this just kind of creates more clearance here between the, uh, between the razor itself and the blade in here. Then what I do is I take the razor with it still on here, just loose, and I run it under some tap water. I run it in like this. I don't know if you guys can see this here. So the water is going against the blade in one direction, then against the blade in the other. And I just kind of do this a little bit just to get out some of the uh, hair and lather that's going to be stuck in there. Then I just kind of shake it off. Then I tighten this up again. Then on my forearm here, I go not in this direction, the shaving direction, the opposite direction. I do about five on each side, five strokes. Uh, it's just something I've been doing since I very first started using a safety razor. Um, some people say it's kind of like stropping the blade in here. I think it helps clean off the blade, get some of that gunk off there, so it can, you know, so that the blade in there lasts longer. I don't know if it makes a difference. It's really hard to tell with some of those things, but stropping intuitively makes sense to me. So I do that as soon as I'm done. So I tighten it back up, do that, and then I loosen this back up again. And I have a jar here. This is filled with just normal rubbing alcohol that I got at like a drugstore. You know, you can get a bottle of it for like 99 cents, something like that. And then with this loosened up still, it's still attached on there, just loose. I take this and I swirl it here in this jar in the, uh, in the rubbing alcohol. Then I bring it out, drop it off. So rubbing alcohol is very volatile. Well, it's not very volatile, but it's more volatile than water. What that means is it evaporates quickly. So what that does is it helps displace the water that's stuck in the razor here and it helps increase the amount of evaporation occurring on the blade. Because over time if you have water sitting on the razor blade itself it's going to start to corrode the blade and you're going to get decreased performance more quickly with the blade. So I dip this in the rubbing alcohol here, I re-tighten it and I hang it up here in my shaving stand and that's it. So I do it after I shave every single time this is my routine I go through. So, that's the daily routine, now weekly routine. Well, it's not really weekly routine, I guess. It's just more so when I'm going to quit using a blade. I try to aim for using a blade four or five shaves around, and then I start noticing that the uh, cutting power of the blade starts decreasing, and at that point, I switch out blades. So when I do that, I take apart the entire razor, I get the blade out, and then what I do with my old blades is I just have some of these old uh, derby blade containers here, and I slip the blade in here. And uh, that's what I do for storage and for disposal. And when this thing fills up, I just throw it out. And whenever I switch out my blades, this is always just a great opportunity to get in there and clean off your safety razor. So what I do is I just grab a normal towel. This is just like a bath towel, like you see me using around here in my shave videos. It's cotton. What I do is I just, with this still wet, if it's not wet, wet it. Nice clean this thing off. The top, the bottom, I get in between the, uh, the post and the pegs in here everything. I want to, you know, really, this is my time that I really do pretty much all my maintenance on my safety razor. Skin there, clean that all off so it's nice and shiny and looking pretty again with the chrome. Then I do the same with every single part. Uh, so with this, it's two-piece razor, so I just have the handle and this uh, base plate on here. If I get underneath there, underneath the head in here, you really want to get every little crevice and in between here, the, the space where the uh, blade exposure is from, I take kind of like a little edge of the towel, slip it in there, clean it out. There we go. Then I just let this sit out like this to just uh, dry off and just for storage. Usually it's not too wet at this point, but I set it on my counter, leave it like that. And then when I come back to shave with it again, the next time I put a fresh blade in there. So anyway, this is, uh, this is what I've been doing for... Uh, 
basically the entire time I've been wet shaving with my safety razors and I feel like they look great. People always comment that, you know, mine look so shiny. I get that comment a lot that they look nice and you know, it's just really a matter of just taking care of your equipment. So this is what I've been doing. Works well for me. There's many different ways out there, you know, and there's a little bit of like kind of personal preference, what you think works, like my stropping, the rubbing alcohol. I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes, but I know that I'm really happy with the performance I get, so this is what I continue to do. So anyway, hope this has served as a reminder uh, to take care of your equipment, take care of your safety razors, and please let me know below what you do for the carrier safety razors. I'm really interested to hear uh, some feedback. When I got started, I really went through a bunch of forums and saw what guys are doing, and it seems like decent number of guys are doing this and getting good results with it. So that's what I like to do. And so please let me know below what you do. And if you have any tricks out there that you think really, really help uh, maintain the quality of your safety razor. And as always, thanks for watching.